Good afternoon, good morning, and good evening to all of you. So now, I will discuss about part of financial management, which is the um, risk and return. So very important here is the risk and return. All right. So very important is the risk and return, particularly in terms of our principles of investment. Alam nyo bakit? Kasi pag sinabi kasing uh, pag sinabi kasing principles of investment, very important here is you have your risk and return. Alright. So later, tingin nyo kung bakit. Sorry, pangat yung sulat ko. Alright. So yan. So risk and return. Alright. Because in the principles of investment, when you say about risk and return, very important is the time value of money. Alright. Bakit time value of money? Because of, again, ulit-ulit, risk and return. And, of course, devaluation. Alright. So, what do you mean of this one? No? Pag sinabi kasing risk, of course, we will consider mga obstacles, mga challenges in life. Now, because of this pandemic, di ba? Ano bang nangyayari ngayon? No? Because of pandemic, ay bumababa lahat ang ating ano di ba uh, stocks no ako ay ako ay naapektuhan for this for this one and of course of course of course kung may risk may return din di ba sabi nga nila higher risk daw okay is also higher return yes tama naman to okay parang parang kayo lang yan di ba uh, you are now here and then uh, you want to become a certified public accountant or certified management accountant of course kailangan mo pagdaanan lahat okay and of course, in the financial management, very important is the valuation. What do you mean of valuation? Meaning, tataas dapat ang ating stocks. Yes, so very important here as part of the financial management is to increase your stock price. Diba? Uh, wala naman siguro nagsasabi na ako ay mag offer in public okay, with this amount natataas ang ating stocks. Yes, di ba? I remember yung yung Jollibee Corporation, di ba? Yung Jollibee, ano lang yun, 52 or 62 pesos. And now, no? Ngayon ay ang 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 taas na, di ba? Umabot pa yun ng 300, no? But now, uh, because of the pandemic, bumaba ang valuations. That's the essence of the principles of investment or the risk and return in the in the uh, investment. All right. So, meaning, uh, so under what conditions are investment decisions made? So, ano yung mga decisions natin na kailangan natin gawin, particularly in terms of this one? Alright, so number one, of course, number one is the conditions of certainty. And number two is the conditions of uncertainty. From the word itself, certainty, meaning alam mo, nakikita mo, diba? And also, you have uncertainty, hindi mo alam, or at na mangyayari. For certain, it is unique to you in your business. Unique, kasi nangyayari, nalaman mo, namatay yung CEO mo, di ba? May welga, Yan, meaning certain ka na nangyayari. But in terms of uncertainty, hindi mo alam. Just like now, because of the pandemic, tama ba? Because of the pandemic, uncertain ka sa mangyayari sa atin. Kahit na ngayon, di ba? Hindi mo alam kung anong mangyayari sa atin. That's basically, you are uncertain. Okay, you are uncertain for this one. Alright. So, meaning, in terms of risk, so what do you mean of risk? Alright, so pag sinabing risk, it is your, number one, hazard or peril. Yes, so when you say about risk, hazard or peril, Yes. Number two, exposure to loss or injury. Yes. But in terms of your financial management, pag sinabing risk is potential of financial loss. Na mawawala ang ating risk. Alright. That's why in terms of, uh, along with return, di ba? Risk and return, it is the key considerations in your investment at the same time your financial decision. That's basically the risk involved. Okay? And also the return involved. Meaning, uh, walang risk. Okay, di ba? Uh, parang, parang ikaw din yan, di ba? 
hindi mo pagdadaanan yung lahat, 'di ba? Hindi ka magiging successful, tama ba? Tama ba? Hopefully kaya din 'yan, ha. 'Di ba? Uh, hindi hindi mangyayari, hindi ka magiging successful, hindi ka magiging CPA or CMA, no? Kung walang risk. Right? That's the meaning of along with return and along with risk, right? But in terms of Markowitz, sabi niya, variance about an asset, so meaning uh, variability of expected return. Magbabago ang ating stocks, di ba? Sino ba sa inyo ang may stocks? As you notice, di ba? Tumataas, bumababa ang ating value ng ating stocks. That's the meaning of risk and return. Okay? That's why, in terms of this one, how is total risk defined? Take note of this one. When you say about total risk, it is basically what? Unsystematic risk, diversifiable, firm specific, or it is your controllable. Unsystematic, diversifiable, and firm specific. What do you mean of this one? Nangyayari sa business mo. Firm specific. Alright. Anong, anong, anong sample niyan, sir? Namatay? Yung inyong CEO. Di ba? Firm specific yan. What else? Uh, may welga sa inyong opisina. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, ano ba? Uh, parang may problema sa top management mo. Nag-resign. Scandal. Di ba? The, the financial scandal, accounting scandal is part of the unsystematic risk. Because of this, it will affect your stocks. Alright. And also, you have your systematic risk or non-diversifiable or market-related or non-controllable. From the word itself, it is a market-related. So, it is a non-diversifiable, meaning ito ay unique. I don't know. It is a market-related. Wala kang control for this one. Example of unsystematic again. Firm wizard skilled, yan. Wildcat strike, yes. Low cost competitor and market, yes. All discovered in the firm's property. Diba? Ito ay, ang systematic is more on, what? It is your non-controllable. Diba? Uh, it is a market related. Okay? Okay. Ah, sorry, baliktad. Sorry, baliktad. Ang systematic is a diversifiable. Sorry, oh, sorry. It is a diversifiable, a firm specific, meaning controllable, nangyayari sa'yo. No? Firms, wizard skilled, wall strap. While systematic naman, non-diversifiable, or it is non-controllable, yung pandemic is part of systematic, correct? All producing countries uh, boycott, diba? Congress votes for massive tax cut, uh, restrictive monetary policy, and uh, interest rate. Again, wag mo nito, ha? Unsystematic is unique to you, firm specific, meaning you can control this one while, while systematic, you cannot control this one because it is a market related. Okay? Yan ang ibig sabihin ng ating total risk. So, meaning uh, unsystematic and also your systematic. Okay? Wag malito ha. Alright. So, hopefully naintindihan to. Alright. Next naman is all about your what the types of investment no in terms of your decisions. Of course, value of an asset is, uh, will decline. You have price risk. Inability to make timely principal payments or interest. It is known as credit risk. Yes. Adverse economic conditions. It is also known as market risk. Yes. Cash flow inadequacy to meet obligations. You have your cash flow risk. Alright. What else? You have your decline in real return due to purchasing power, inflation, value change due to foreign currency, forex, future investment that will earn a return. You have lower return, sorry, lower reinvestment risk. Okay. Uh, you have in instruments are callable, thus exposing to uncertainty and reinvestment risk. You have call risk. And marketability of the assets. You have you have here liquidity. So, all of these are part of the risk involved. Alright. What are the attitudes naman towards your risk? Kayo ba ay risk taker or papabayaan nyo lang? Or desire for risk? Or adverse or indifference to risk? Alright. So, meaning, you have here is the aversions to risk. 
Alright, so of course, it is your the effect of total or the effect of diminishing marginal utility of wealth, di ba? Yan daw ang ibig sabihin ng tinatawag na risk. What do you mean of this one? Pag sinabi kasing desire for risk or indifference to risk, okay? Meaning, uh, you have the effect of this one, di ba? The effect of this one is parang sa Tagalog, hindi tayo natukontento sa isang bagay, di ba? Okay lang naman daw yun, no? Class, ha? Okay lang na hindi ka makontento. Okay? Okay lang na hindi ka makontento sa isang bagay. Kaya nga sabi sa atin na yun, sorry, atin isa kasi ako, uh, to strive for more. Diba? To strive for more. Pero, not to be greedy. Or, kasi nga, ang nangyayari kasi sa atin, greed ang problema sa atin. That's why, diba? very important to consider na, yes, not to be contented, but of course, very important is not to be, uh, or, or, or wag kang maging greedy. Okay? Kasi pag greedy ka, diba? parang, wala lang, ganun yung problema sa atin. Diba? Yan. Alright, next naman is all about um, the Markowitz two-parameter model. Two-parameter model. Okay, kayo ba ay, if ever you have your stocks, okay, kayo ba ay may stocks, kayo ba ay more on to invest in a single asset or portfolio of assets? Very good, no? Dapat portfolio of assets, no? Huwag kayo mag-invest in one single asset only pwedeng mawala ang pera mo. <laughs> yung 10,000 mo, baka mawala na kaagad, no? If if it is a single asset. Alright. right. ba? Uh, hopefully, yung sa inyo, may mga stocks kayo dito. Kung may stocks kayo dito, kayo ay uh, maintindihan nyo ako, no? Alright. You will consider expected return, no? Okay. So, the variance about expected return also. Okay. Take note of this one. The higher return and the higher risk payoff is also very important in the parameter. Again, mas okay ang portfolio assets compared with a single asset. Bakit? Yung iba ay tumataas, yung iba ay bumababa. Okay lang yon. And the bottom line is, tataas ang ating stocks. Pero if you will only invest in one single asset, baka yung 10 million mo maging zero yan or bumaba pa. Okay, later na, no, I will explain to you kung bakit mas maganda ang portfolio assets. Alright. So, how can the two-parameter model be used for investment decisions? So, deciding between a single asset, again, single asset ba tayo, or deciding on a portfolio of an investment. Diba? Mas maganda ay portfolio of an investment. Diba? Hindi lang tayo umaasa sa isa. Okay. So, take note of that one, ha? So, because of this, very important is the probability. Okay. Probabilities are used to evaluate the risk involved in a security. Yes. Very important that in terms of probability, very important is the risk and also the security. Alright. So with this one, probability of event taking place as defined or as is defined as the chance that event will occur. Okay, go back to your discussion about contingent liability and contingent asset. Diba? Maging asset lang yan or liability yan. When? Kailan? In terms of uh, may or may not occur. Depending on the occurrence of the events. That's basically the probability. Diba? Alright. Although far yan, diba? So, yan. So, meaning, in terms of this one, no? So, in terms of the probability, of course, dalawa lang naman yung ating options. To rain or not to rain. <laughs> diba? So, rain is 30%. No, rain is 70%. So, with the probability of this one, you can be able to compute for your return. See later, when we are now in computing for standard deviations, so we will discuss that one. Okay? Alright. So, take note of this one. No? How is risk to be measured? Take note, ha? single asset muna tayo. What if you have a single asset decision? So, you have your N and also you have here your rate of return. Alright. And also the probability distributions. Alright. Ayan. So, ito yung formula to compute for standard deviation. So, later, I will explain to you the meaning of standard deviations. Ano pong ibig sabihin ng standard deviation? So, later, ha? So, I will discuss this one. Tinan mo yung formula. Di ba mahirap? 
medyo mahirap siya pero don't worry uh, hopefully I can be able to discuss this no na mas madali sa inyo don't worry may nahanap kasi akong uh, anong tawag doon may nahanap kasi akong f- uh, parang mas madaling maintindihan to compute or uh, to have this one no uh, mas madali mo compute di ba tinan mo yung tinan mo di ba napakahirap okay expected return variance okay if you have only one yeah? so meaning the sd here is at 4.9% so later no i will explain to you the meaning of standard deviations all right so how the risk is measured in a single asset decision so you have here expected return the weighted average Uh, of possible return of from a given investment weights being probabilities mathematically of R return then N times RI times PI later no uh, mas madali kong maintindihan for me ha okay later alright so what do you mean of this one so pag sinabing RI it is the possible return pag sinabing PI it is a possible return and N naman is uh, all about the number of possible return alright So, meaning, in terms of the single asset, ba? Diba? So, how it is to be measured? Ito yung kanina, ha? Naulit lang. Alright. So, take note of the uh, computations of uh, uh, computations of the expected return, ba? Diba? You have here at 11%. Alright. Mamaya, I will show you kung ano mas madali in computing for standard deviations. Okay. But before that, what do you mean of standard deviations? So, pag sinabing Standard deviations, it is basically how you measure your risk. Yes. Pag sinabing SD, how you measure your risk. So, it is a measure of dispersion of the probability distribution. Yan ang ibig sabihin ng standard deviations. Meaning, it is how you measure your risk. Yes. Commonly used to measure your risk. Take note of this one. The smaller, the standard deviation. Alright. Sorry, SD. Sabi niya, the lighter the probability, thus, the lower the risk. Meaning, if lower risk yan, lower return din yan. Alright. So, mas maganda pala ay, mataas ang ating SD. Sorry, ah, pangat yung sulat ko. Ba't ko na to? <laughs> Alright. So, return yan ha. Risk and return. Alright. Yan. Mas maganda pala, mas malaki ang SD. Mas malaki ang risk and malaki yung return. The answer here is... Yes. Alright. Yan. Yan yung answer. Okay? So, mathematically... Alright. So, mathematically... Okay. Dalit ko muna ha. Mathematically, when you say about uh, SD, it is basically a... Uh, uh, square root of variance. No, ito yan. Square root of variance. So, later, no, I will explain to you ano ba yung variance. Alright. Diba, ito yung kanina. Ah, naulit lang. So, ito yung, ito yung uh, steps no, to compute for standard deviations. So, compute for the return. As discussed kanina, okay? subtract the each possible return from R to obtain the set of deviations and number 3, square each division. I- each de- deviations. And number 4, square root. Don't worry. Mas, ito yung mas madali, no? Don't worry, ha? Alright. Ito yung mas madali. Okay? So, step number one. Ah, ito yung kanina. Okay? So, ulit lang. So, take note of the formula. The formula here is you have 11% here as expected return. So, mamaya, no? May mas madaling gawin dyan, no? And the variance is 24. SD naman is at makano? 4.9%. Alright, so ito yung ibig sabihin niya, no? Yan, ito yung pinakamadali. Okay, yan. Ito na lang yung gawin nyo in the board exam. Sa CMA, sa CPA man yan. Alright, ang gawin natin, di ba given to? Di ba? It is your risk. Yes. And you have your probability. Yes. Anong ginawa natin? Just multiply lang ito to get the step number one. We have 7.53, 0.65, 0, and 0.1. Anong tato? Ito na yung R, di ba? Di ba kanina, we compute for R, na napakaba pa nga yun. Ayun, hindi na mas madali. Just multiply lang pala ng return and probability. Yan na yung return, yes. Di ba? 
Okay, step number one yan. Di ba madali to? Step number two. Ri minus R. Di ba ito yung R? Ito yung Ri. So, remove na lang the percentage. Ha? Remove this one. 15 minus 11, you have 4. 10 minus 11, you have negative 1. 5 mi minus 11, you have negative 1. Alright? Sige, I, I, I will... Sh ano na lang. Okay. Wait. Alright, yan. And also, you have 0. Alright. Uh, 0 minus uh, 11. Uh, should be negative. Huh? Should be negative. Okay. Okay. And also, you have negative 5. Okay. And negative 5. And also, you have your uh, negative... Uh, sorry, negative 5 minus 11. You have negative 16. That's basically your step number 2. Okay. Alright, so in terms of this step number 2, you have 4, negative 1, negative 6, and negative 11. In terms of step number 2 is you have squared. Take note of the step number 2 here, no? So meaning 4 times 4, we have 16. 1 times 1, we have 1. 6 times 6, you have 36. 11 times 11, you have 121. And this also one, 16 times 16, you have 256. Alright. Step number 2, napakadali, di ba? Gagawin mo lang is this one. Alright. And after that, it is the squared. Okay, yan. Alright. So, you have this one. And after that, you have step number 3. So, ano naman yung step number 3? Okay. And also, no, in terms of the negative 1, as you notice, no? The negative 1 here is you have 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 6 times 6 is 36. 11 times 11, you have 121. And 16 times 16, you have 256. By the way, negative to ha? Kaya ito ay magiging positive na. Di ba? Napakadali. And also, you have step number 3. Medyo mahaba nga lang siya. Pero at least mas madali ito compared doon sa napakahabang formula. Tama ba? And after that, this one is to be multiplied by this one. Your PI. 16 times 0.50, you have 8. Okay? 0.30 times 1, you have 0 0.30. Okay? 36 times 0 0.13, you have 4.68. 121 times 0 0.05, you have 6.05. 256 times 0 0.2, uh, 0 0.02, is yes, we have your 5.12. Again, RI minus RI2, multiply by the PI. Ito lang naman yan. So, yan na. So, yung 24% ay ito yung tinatawag na ating variance. Diba? Kanina, diba? We have square root of 24. Diyan ang galing yung 24%. That is basically the standard deviations of 24%. Okay? So, with this 24%, you square that 24%, you have your 4.90. Okay? Okay. Mas madali ba ito? Honestly. Mas madali ba ito? Hopefully, mas madali ito. Compare naman dito, ha? Okay, go back to our slides. Compare naman dito. O, oh, ba? <laughs> Compare naman dito, ba? Okay, at least doon mas madali. Hopefully, mas madali sa inyo, ha? Alright, yan. Yan, mas madali ito, ha? Alright. Next naman is all about, yan, okay. Tama ba yung kabi ko kanina, no? Sabi ko kanina is higher S, higher SD. Alright. Higher SD to ha. Higher SD. Higher return. Higher risk. And also, higher return. Uh, return yan. Okay, <laughs> ganito yung sulat ko. Pangit yung sulat. Alright. Oh, tama ba yung sabi ko? Higher SD. Higher risk, higher return. Take note of that the eleven percent here, diba? Return mo eleven percent. How about the variance twenty four? How about SD four point nine? Alam bawa ito ay SMB to, no? Kasi nga a single asset, diba? Let's say ito ay Asia Brewery. Wala <laughs> lang bias, no? Alright, oh, kasi san Miguel employee ako dati. Alright, oh, ABI. Tingnan mo. Oh, anong uh, anong pipiliin mo? San Miguel Asia Brewery or uh, San Miguel or Asia Brewery, sorry. Of course pipiliin mo yung San Miguel because higher return, higher variance, 
higher SD. Diba? Compare sa ABI na mababa ang return, mababa ang variance, mababa ang SD. So, tama pala to. Remember, higher SD, higher risk, and higher return. Okay? Alright. So far, walang question ha. Okay. Madali lang naman, diba? Madali lang. Alright. Yan. Next. So, next naman is, of course, the coefficient of variance. Alright, take note of this one, no? Sabi niya, SD daw, must be careful in comparing the risk that is absolute in terms of measuring our dispersion risk, no? SD here does not consider the dispersion of risk of outcome in relationship, no, to the expected return, yes. Therefore, when comparing your securities, no, to have a different, uh, uh, that have a different expected return, you use coefficient of variance yes so how do we compute for that no coefficient of variance is just dividing the sd by the return ganun lang ang ating formula all right pa lang ito kasi hindi to usually binibigay no usually ang ang ating discussion talaga is more on uh, the standard deviations all right so, better study pa din. Baka ibigay ko sa board. Uh, sa, sa exam. Alright. Ayan. So, to to uh, to summarize everything for this one, SD, say, parehas yun da, to measure the risk. Yes. It measures the dispersion of risk. Yes. Okay. It uses the comparing the risk. No? Is smaller the SD, is smaller the tighter the probability, lower the risk. So, tama naman yung kanina, di ba? It is, it vary directly. Same also as coefficient of variance. Mababa ang ating SD, mababa ang ating risk, mababa ang ating return. Same as coefficient of variance. Kaya, hindi kayo mali dito, no? They are all very proportionately, sorry, not inversely, proportionately indirectly. The higher the coefficient, the more risky the security. Okay? Alright. Next naman, is all about cap M na. Okay. Alam nyo ba, sa board exam, sa exam natin, kaysa mga quizzes, hindi nawawala ang capital asset pricing model. Hopefully, kayo ay may idea na about capital asset pricing model, ha? Alright, or CAPM. Alright, most financial assets daw are not held isolations rather than they are held as part of a portfolio. Yes. Meaning, pag kayo nag invest wag lang kayo in one basket. But, of course, dapat portfolio of an asset. You will invest in stocks, in bonds, you have business, you have, uh, you will purchase real estate, condominium, di ba? Portfolio, okay? Alright. Dapat, basta legal, ha? <laughs> Therefore, risk and return analysis should not be confined to a single asset. Yan yung sinasabi ko kanina. Should not be confined in a single asset. Bakit? Mag-invest ka sa minahan, mining, 10 million. Pinasabog yung minahan pwede maging zero ang value ng inyong stocks. Alright. What else? It is important to look at the portfolio and the gains from diversification. Very important is the word to diversify. Diversification. Anong, ano bang ibig sabihin ng diversification? Diba like San Miguel? San Miguel ay nag-start ng kami sa, San Miguel, uh, sa beer. Then we have, we, we purchased Pure Foods, we purchase Hinebra, Ratundenia, di ba? We purchase uh, Petron, BD, uh, BDO, BOC, sorry, not BDO, ah. BDO is uh, uh, Henry C. Uh, Star Tollway, di ba? The NLEC, uh, SLEC, sorry, the Skyway. So, meaning, diversify, conglomerate. In the investment, dapat daw is, you will invest sa iba't iba. If you have also investment in stocks, iba't iba din dapat ang inyong business. May banko, may retail, may, 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 ano, may mining. So, the word here is diversification. What is important is the return of portfolio. Yes, not just the return of one asset. Kaya, mas maganda, it is a portfolio. ba? Ayan. Uh, malugi man ng isa, meron ka pang isa. <laughs> Common sense, diba? Malugi yung negosyo mo, malugi, malugi yung business mo, may isa ka pa. Okay. What is the portfolio diversification? So, meaning, 
constructions in such a way that it reduces, no, or it reduces your 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 risk, no, without sacrificing your return, no. You create portfolio that is less risky, no, as part of the negative. Kaya lang ang issues natin dito. Yeah, ito yung problema natin. What or how much should be invested in cash or in class? Or ano bang ating business? Stocks ba? Bonds ba? Or real estate pa? <laughs> Ito yung ating problema for now. Magkano naman ang i-invest? So, meaning, depende yan sa'yo. Di ba? Alright. So, that's why, in terms of the portfolio return, very important here is this formula. Di ba? Bakit? Okay. Uh, I will not read this, no? Ito lang naman yung ibig sabihin yan, no? In terms of the return, the reason why, very important is, you have a portfolio. Tingnan mo, alam ba, wa, stocks to ng San Miguel. Ito naman ay ibang stocks. Uh, take note, no? 18 and 9 is the return. Alright, so, in terms of, in terms of the return, you have 18 and 9. So, one-thirds and two-thirds, di ba? So, 6%, 6%, and also you have a 12%. Ano nangyari? So, my point here, no? Kahit man yan, 18% man yan, or 9% man yan, of course, di ba? Ano mangyayari? May equal. Kaya, mas maganda, you have a portfolio of an asset. Alright. So, meaning, what are the five strategies, or strategies in terms of diversification? So, naive, diversifications, alright, yan, simple invest in a number of stocks or assets, no? Types of assets, hopes, no, no, that the variance of the expected return on the portfolio is lowered. So, may mga madami tayong mga sample ng ating mga uh, diversifications. You have also here, Markowitz diversifications concerned with the degree of covariance between assets in a portfolio. Yan. So, in yung mga sample. Combined assets with return that are less than perfectly positively correlated, no? So, may mga, may mga sample tayo ng tinatawag na uh, diversifications. Alright. So, we have also here implications. What are the implications of portfolio variance and covariance for developing efficient portfolio? Portfolio risk can be low even if individual assets risk are high by combining assets with a lower or negative correlation. Yes, no? Portfolio return is maintained, yes, and risk inherent. Kasi nga, class, no, alam nyo ba, sa stocks, no, hindi, may mga inherent dyan. May mga inherent dyan, no? Especially if you have a single asset, no, from, from a riskiness of that asset, especially in terms of the isolations. Wala naman perfect, di ba? <laughs> Alright. Yan. What are the other ways naman to reduce our risk? Of course, number one, uh, we will discuss later about this one, not to be sensitive, no? uh, especially in terms of capital budgeting. Alright. Uh, determinations of range, yes. Insurance, yes. Uh, hedging. Forward covers, yes. Contracts. Alright. Derivatives also. So, bahala na si Sir, ano na sa inyo, si Sir Albert Rivera no? about derivatives and hedging. Alright, yan. Ito yung, for me, ah, ito yung pinaka-importante in terms of the risk and return, no? Computing or to have a capital asset pricing model. Ano bang ibig sabihin ng capital asset pricing model? But, but before that, no? Uh, I will discuss again, no? The two components of risk. Diversifiable, non-diversifiable risk. Alright. Again, pag sinabing diversifiable, controllable risk, and systematic risk, as discussed kanina, it is unique. No? You can control, can be controlled by you no? through diversifications. Diba? Ano yung mga sample? And unique to a given security. Ano nga yung sample natin? Business liquidity, default risk, labor union strike, debt of the CEO. Diba? Ito, ay, uh, ito ay part ng ating capital asset pricing model. No? Yes, so liquidity of it, no, the default risk, labor union strike, the debt of the CEO is part of the capital asset pricing model as the diversifiable, controllable risk and unsystematic risk. Alright. Again, also non-diversifiable, non-controllable or systematic, it is outside your nature. 
or sorry, outside your control, not nature. Therefore, not unique in a given security and it is known as the purchasing power, interest rate, and the market risk. As discussed kanina, ha? kaya in terms of the capital asset pricing model, take note of this class. Ha? Pag sinabing capital asset pricing model, makinig ha, it is only your systematic risk. Meaning, type of risk is a beta coefficient. We will compute for the return and we will use beta because in terms of the cap M, it is only attributable to the systematic because you cannot control this one. Diba? Non-diversifiable, non-controllable. Kaya wag, wag malito ha. Alright. Basta again, cap M is only for unsystematic. Alright. So, paano yun, sir? Okay. Capital asset pricing model no, relates to the risk measured by beta. Okay. The level of this one, expected return or required return of a security. This model, take nota, it is also known as security market line. Alam nyo ba, class? Ito ay naalala ko, no? Nung ako ay nagre-review pa. Sabi ko, hindi ko makakalimutan ang capital asset pricing model kasi ito ay SML, di ba? San Miglight. <laughs> Hindi ah. Uh, yeah, San Miguel Light. No? At least, security market line, stocks market line. Alright. So, ano yung formula ng security market line or cap M model? So, the formula is... So, the formula is... Yan. So, RJ. Ano, ano ibig sabihin ng RJ? So, RJ is expected return, risk-free rate. Alright. This is beta. Uh, expected return and risk-free rate. Yan. So, yun yung formula ng ating uh, uh, capital asset pricing. Sige, I will delete muna. Ha? Yan. So, RJ is equals to RF plus beta RM minus RF. Okay? Alright. So, meaning, in terms of the capital asset pricing model, very important is the word beta here. Because the beta here is the measure of security, volatility, at the same time, stability, Diba, volatile ang ating stocks, no? Bababa at taas ang ating stocks. And also, instability also. Unpredictability. So, you have 0 0.5, 1.10, And also, you have the whole term here is also known as it represents the risk premium. Diba, kanina? Ano formula again? Uh, RJ. So, is equals to RF, risk-free rate. Alright? Diba? Plus, you have here your beta. Alright, beta to ha. <laughs> Not beta to. Alright. And we will multiply it by our, multiply to, our uh, RM. Alright, minus RJ. Diba? Ito yung formula natin kanina. Alright, so meaning, ito daw ay, ito, ito mismo, itong beta is your risk premium. Ayan. Alright. So, sample lang ito ha. 0 0.5, 1.0, 2.0. Paano daw pag ganun yung beta? Alright. Take note also of the beta ha. To summarize this one, no? Yan. Take note. Systematic risk dapat. Hindi yung unsystematic. The higher, the systematic risk. SR na lang. Okay. Higher, the beta. Alright. Higher, the beta. Higher, what? Systematic risk beta, higher the return. Yan. Kaya, same pa din siya. Huwag malulito class, ha? Return yan. Return. Pangkat ng sulat ko. Hindi, sa ball pen kasi. Uh, anyway. Return yan, ha? So, meaning, same as kanina. Especially in terms of beta, standard deviations, and coefficient of variance. Para pareha silang, what? Vary. Directly. Alright. So, yun. Next. Uh, yan. So, take note of this one. No? What if this is your beta? 0, 0 0.5, 1.0, 2 0.5, 1.0, 2.0. Yan. Okay. Mamaya, tinan natin kung tama yung higher beta, higher risk, and higher return. Uh, go back to the formula. What if 0 is your risk favorite? Sorry, it should be RF. Ha? RF to. 
Alright, so meaning, given naman yung lahat, di ba, 8? 0 yung beta. Tinan mo yung ating pag 0, ang beta, you have 8%. Alright, oh. tinan mo ha, pag tumataas yung ating beta, what if the beta will increase? 0 0.5. What will happen to our return? Sorry. Our return is... 0 0.5 is the beta, tumaas yung beta, naging 10%. Same to ha, same lang naman yung formula. Ginawa natin is just uh, uh, replace it, no? And what if your beta naman is about, is 1.0? Tinan mo yung, tinan mo yung return, 12%. So, habang tumatagal, tumataas talaga ang ating return. Pag tumataas ang ating beta. So, tama ba yung kanina? Okay, pag tumaas yung beta, Tumataas yung return? Yes. Uh, take note. Duma tumataas. Yan. So, meaning, to summarize everything this one, so, very important here is about your capital asset pricing model. The higher the risk, the higher the beta. Alright. Beta yan. And also, the higher return. O, oh, RT na lang. Alright, same also kanina, okay, that uh, higher SD, higher risk, and the higher return. Higher coefficient of variance, higher return, higher risk. Kaya, di ba, parang hindi na kayo mawawala, no? Especially in terms of your risk and return. I think ito yung ating last slides na. Yes, alright, so hopefully you learned from this one and about the risk and return. Thank you and see you.